good to see him back here at the Worlds. So, I mean, how strong are his prospects? Yeah. Uh, that, that's what we're all looking to see. I mean, he hasn't had uh, the best season so far. Uh, lost here in uh, in June in the first round against Tommy Sugiato. Lost to Bitatzels in the first round of the Australian Open. Lost to Tommy Sugiato as well in, um, I think it was India Open and so on. So he's had some losses. The thing is that this is the tournament that really gets the best out of Lindan. He's been playing for so many years. He's won pretty much everything. Not the Indonesian Open though, but he's won pretty much everything. Two Olympic golds, five world championships, numbers of Thomas Cops and Sudirman Cops and so on. So. What I'm trying to say is that the, the, the smaller tournaments, the smaller Super Series tournaments, is probably not enough to really get him going at this stage of his career. But this is the World Championships. Yeah, it's a, it's a major, and this is, you know, you said to him at the start of 2015, what what we be aiming at. I mean, obviously, he wants to be part of a winning Sudamin Cup team, but on an individual level, this is it, the World Championship. That the next year will be the Olympics. Yeah. And then he'll say goodbye to the sport as probably one of the greatest ever. But this yeah. is the man who's got to say, the draw comes out, Sadow up Pognara, and he goes, oh my goodness, not again. Because he, he he faced him in the first round in, in 2013 at the World Championships. It's not fair, is it? You get Lin down twice in three years in round one. But then again, then you have some experience playing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know how much you got beat the first time. Yeah, yeah. 21 6, 21 9 it was. Uh, Sanoat uh, from New York, Thai parents, uh, given the name, uh, he's uh, probably stronger in the, in the men's doubles than he is in the men's singles. And here he is up against the world number five, of course, former world number one, Lin Dan. And, uh, well, yeah, there's been a few early losses that uh, you were just talking about there, Steam, but there's been, there's been some good moments as well. Not all has been a loss for him in... 2015. And I think he, he showed some better form here at the uh, Taiwan Grand Prix Gold where he reached the semi final in that. Lost in a very good match against uh, Chou Chen Tian. Won the Asian Badminton Championships. There is that uh, meeting in 2013. And there is uh, our umpire, Harriet Senegabi. Atmosphere building up nicely now, isn't it? Andrea Chiappini is the service Ready judge. Ready to play? Les? Ready to play? Well, I think it's fair to say it's uh, well, probably been one of the most testing years of uh, Lindan's career so far but he's not going to be a man to push the panic button and it after all can still be a golden one if he can play a sixth world championship crowd and if he is to do so it starts here against Sanawat Pongneira of the United States of America can the man from New York Push Lin Dan here. Can you give him a Ladies a, a and fight? gentlemen, on my right, Lin Dan. And on my left, Sacharan Ponyarat. Lin Dan South, level play. Well, we're into the last 12 months in what is uh, really, I suppose, the greatest badminton career of them all, certainly in the men's singles. Lin Dan starts his. Well, it's not the defense of his world championship crown because of course he didn't play last year but he hasn't lost at the world championships since 2010. Sadawak takes Let the opening point now. Let please. Looks like there's a little bit of a problem with the scoring but I'm sure you Sadawak did take the opening point. Let please. Let please. That's why they're uh, pausing here. Empire just trying to reboot the system. Now, what's this button do? Uh, it's a 
some calls for the referee. I always find switching it off and switching it on again helps. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? I tried that with my car and it didn't work. <laughs> it's the old computer trick, though, isn't it? Oh, if in doubt, switch it off. Computers are great when they work. And we're going to go to the old uh, writing it down on, on a piece of paper scoring system for the time being. It's a pity, isn't it? Just got things going. Okay. And the umpires doesn't One. have a board here. Let. Normally they have a board so they can simultaneously uh, score manually. Who's one, in charge of scoring between four. us then, Steve? Is that me? Yeah. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Ah, we're back in business. Look at that. So is Lynn Dan. Two, Two good points. One. spoke too soon. I'm saying catching up with him, Dan. Is there a, an aura of the invincibility? Is that is that, is that waned with what's yeah. happened in the last year? So oh, did yeah, Sarawak come out with a little different approach than he would have done two years ago? Four, um, one. I don't know if he comes out with different attitudes, Sarawak, because I think for him, Dan is still invincible. But for, for the players around him in the world ranking, he's not invincible anymore. Five, uh, one. But you always have this uh, thing, this is a big event, and I don't really think Mandan is going to get any <laughs> nervous or anything. He's just going to enjoy himself. So, uh, so Jaro, you say that, surely he must six, get nervous. What? I don't think he, he'll get very nervous. I, I think he'll be the least nervous player here uh, because he's won it five times, so... Uh, sure. Who's, what's he got to prove? Who's, yeah. who's he proving yeah. it to? Is the, this is uh, this is what is fun playing the big Six events, the big matches. Although on the flip side, Two. it's his last World Championship. We never know. We never know. But he said, hasn't he? He said after the Olympics, that's it. Yeah, but uh, he can change you know, his mind, of course. But th there's all kinds of perspectives in that. What about if he wins the Olympics? Well, um, what a way to bow out, no? And another interesting thing is that that he's playing with one um, Three. manufacturer sponsor. Six on his um, on his clothes but the racket is a different uh, manufacturer he's got an individual contract with one of the big equipment manufacturers here and also uh, playing with the uh, Chinese national team's equipment sponsor on his, um, his t-shirt well, so three. what are you getting at there's probably quite a lot of money in this in playing on. But he's a rich man already, isn't he? Yeah. Listen, I mean, you can never have too much money, but I'm sure post a badminton career, he probably will have a lot of options open to him as well. Eight, but listen, if you're fit enough, three. strong enough, yeah. and, and, and the and most important thing, though, you've got the will still. I mean, he's been doing this now yeah. in badminton terms uh, a long time. I think, though, that, that he needs to feel competitive at these uh, big events. Otherwise, I, I don't think it's so fun. Well, he's off to a convincing start here. 8-3 up. Three. No speculation, of course. You can only go by his words. And well, no, he has said that after Rio, that that should be it. Good flicker. 7-3. 
the silver. Four, nine. A little look out there. But as you say, it's not been the uh, happiest of hunting grounds for him, the uh, Storo Senean. draw last year by the way Sato it, it played three world championships two of them he's been drawn now against Lindown first round got to uh, Jacob Millikill South Africa last year in Copenhagen that was a little bit different and he won that also means he has a lot of points to defend Play. regarding the Olympic qualification it's gonna be hard 58th in the world is. Sorry, 72nd in the world he is. And uh, at the interval, 11 4 for uh, Lindan. Much as expected. Yes, please. It was Lindan. Lindan on the right. Lindan for the seven. Fill in the scores like how you were. Okay. Like one by one. Okay. Okay. Yes. Of course, we saw um, the compatriot of uh, Satsawat Pongle Rat yesterday, Howard Chu, almost creating a big upset. So these two players fighting it out perhaps for the. Uh, Olympic qualification spot for USA. Yeah, I mean, it's, Sadawat also has the men's doubles as well. He's uh, with Philip Chu. But, uh, but it's really hard qualifying in, in uh, the doubles categories. I think the best chance of qualifying in, in the men's doubles is that they can take the, um, the qualifying spot that goes to uh, the Americas. Well, they're the Pan Am champions. They just won gold in the Pan Am games. Yeah. So uh, there's a good chance they could do that. They're playing later against uh, Govi Shim, Tamwi Kyung on this court. Is uh, Sadawan alongside Philip Chu. Now, press this button here. That's it. And that's what it said in the manual. Yeah. You might hear a big cheer at the moment because, uh, as I mentioned, there's a Indonesian mixed doubles Play. pair going on. But court number four, Elisa Baktia and Gloria Manuela with Jaja, and they're just about to take the opening game. So this Another look up. Just getting used to the conditions Five, here, Lindan. Eleven. You'd expect him to put that one away. Yeah, but th this this match for Lindan is all about getting used to the conditions. We won't be able to tell anything from this match as to whether he's in really, really good shape. And a big contender for his uh, sixth title or he's playing like he's been doing the rest of the year and, and just a contender. That's, uh, uh, and he's, he's had trouble in that corner. Six, that has been 11. sort of uh, his weak corner throughout the year, his short forehand corner, Lindan. a weak corner against him that means that it's still very very good just in comparison to the rest of his game <laughs> yeah over 12 6 Doesn't he, Dan? Obviously, for what I mean, you look at 
Six. comparable careers at, in his time in, in other sports. Roger Federer, of course, yeah. still able to make a Wimbledon final. And then you've got someone like Tiger Woods who shows what can happen as well, although Tiger yet may come back, but you know, it's not easy to remain invincible and, and, and the man to be. No, he's, he's a legend and, and, in my opinion, the best ever singles player in uh, badminton. Well, the medals speak Boxing loudly, don't they? Six. Sorry? The medals speak loudly, the, yeah, the yeah. tattoos, because he marks each exactly. one with a tattoo as well. Yeah. Well, he's never short of a tattoo, is Lin Dan's got his wife's name on there, his, his body, his, his mother as well. And uh, the star to go with each major. 15, you can see them there on his six. left arm, maybe. Thank you. Of course, it's easier in some odd way of winning the world championship nowadays than it was before. Uh, it was uh, true. Uh, an event that we only played every third year in the beginning. And, and then every two years. And yeah. then every two years. Now it's a. Uh, recurring event each year except for the Olympics year but he's got two gold 16, medals six. he's got two golds and he might try and but well, he's gonna try and make it number three in yeah. Rio yeah I think perhaps the more the more impressive thing is that he's 17, lost so few matches six. not only has he won a lot of world championships and Olympic golds, but he's also won an awful lot of tournaments. And sometimes Li Chung Wei must think back and say, hey, what if I'd been five years younger or five Eight years older? Six. He would have had a lot of titles then. Yeah, I think something like 57 titles, I think, for, for Lin Dan. I mean, Li Chung Wei's obviously had a, an amazing career as well. And, He's been playing more tournaments. Yeah. Nineteen six. Well, the uh, game very much uh, a workout. It uh, is for the down. This just wide. Well, I thought that was maybe worth a call, but. Yeah. Left. I'm assuming Hawkeye's working. If the scoring's not working. No, exactly. A little bit the same for uh, Pongarat. The scoring's not working. Lindan doing all the scoring. Yeah. That one, in, no dispute. That was well wide. 20 game so, game points, points for, for Lindan. It's uh, not much of a contest, is it, really? Let's be fair. Pretty much like the uh, men's singles match we saw prior to that, but it's the way it goes sometimes in round one. As we were mentioning before. Uh, Sadowak's compatriot yesterday 20. produced uh, an excellent men's singles match. Almost caused a surprise, but no surprises here. Sadowak getting Eight. a couple of points extra 20. on the board. Opening game, 21 points to eight. First game won by he has Lindan. broken sweat, but just Linda. No answers from the American. points only on the board for Sadowak Lindan the game to the good in round one of this World Championship 2015 
Oh, one would expect uh, more of the same, really, in the second here. Yeah. Um, again, I think we'll, as we saw with Sasaki, we'll see him and then trying to get a good feel second of uh, the whole, the court trying to find the baseline. Love all. Play. Probably also the best player in the world um, to control the drift and drifty conditions. Then down onto the challenge, yeah. But it was given out anyway. <laughs> Didn't need to challenge it. No. And probably Lindan is also hoping that uh, Pongnarad is, is playing a little bit um, more free in, in this uh, second game, putting him a little bit more under pressure because if you're not really under any pressure, then it's hard adjusting to the conditions because you'll be put under pressure in the later rounds. In yeah, the I was going to ask you that because I mean, the next round is. Uh is a pretty good draw as well, really, when you, you know, David Uber, no or Daniel Paola yeah. is, is going to be Lindan's yeah. opponent in round two. I mean, that, not really you'd expect much of a test for him there either. No, not, not beforehand One, at least, uh, I don't think so. And uh, it's always nice to to get some manageable... Is that good first, then? First matches. Uh, I think perhaps Lindan would have wanted a little bit more opposition. Inside but um, listen, you never know. Three, no. But uh, it's Lindan, and this is the World Championships. You wouldn't expect those players to really cause him too many troubles. They'll have other ideas, of course. I think matches where you're, you're pretty confident of winning uh, with like 16 or 17 in Four, each game. That, that's one. what the players would prefer because. They get a good uh, workout out of it. Seven over. Two, four. Service over. Three, five. Yeah, one thing we noticed, we get to, obviously, our position. Uh, we got here about 8 o'clock, didn't we, this morning? An hour before. And then Dan was out here, I wouldn't say warming up. I mean, just hitting a couple of yeah. shuttles, didn't he? Don't often see players warming up on the court prior to the day. No, I, I don't think, actually, that they're allowed to... Into Six, the arena, they have to use three. the normal courts. Yeah, that's what I thought. But uh, he was out there. As I said, it wasn't a proper warm-up, was it? No, it was, it was just hitting a few shots. That's a good call. Seven, three. Nine, 
Right is over. Four, it wasn't nine. happy about that one, Lindan. No. This, these are the situations that you just have to accept that once in a while your opponent makes good shots. You still expect to get that back, though. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think he was just asking for the score. Four, nine. Lee? Touch there Service over. from ten mid court. Lindan plays it really close to the net. Interval. Interval lead again is uh, a very, very positive one for Linda. 11 4. And we're taking the opening game 21 points to 8. Contest it isn't. Tough year for Salah, really, in terms of the singles. First round exits pretty much everywhere. Russian Open most recently. Did get through to the second round at the Canadian Open. Court but one, uh, 20 seconds. And a uh, challenge Court event one, in Brazil. Got seconds. to the quarterfinals, but you go through his uh, 2015 stats and, uh, well, they make pretty really that, that, you know, Lindan's had a few first round exits as well this year. 11 four. Happens to the best of them. Play. Yeah. Two in a row. First Australia and then Indonesia. Very uncommon 12, for him. Four. Both. Have you noticed how all the uh, cameramen have appeared for this one? Excellent clear from uh, Lindan. And that will give him some confidence, won't it, in terms of, you know, four. what he's looking at of this match. Service over. Missed that one, mate. Five, 15. First uh, hurdle is uh, about to be 16, cleared here five. by the five-time world champion. Uh, pretty much one-way traffic, as we expected. Five. 
three more points uh, required to make it into round two. Seven, seven. Six, 18. So we don't know much really from this, and, and I suppose he doesn't learn that much either. No, no. But uh, he's had some uh, extra court time. Looked like he went on the line that from center but as you can see, Lin Dan wants a, a challenge. I think at 21 18 not my bothered. <laughs> yeah. But he's a, a competitor and he's a, a winner for a reason. He was wrong. Lin Dan is challenging the line judge. It was close, uh, I, saw, I yeah. think so it's on. Who was, uh, was right? Lin Dan is challenging the, 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 the shot on the line. He wants to make a challenge? Yes. Raise your left hand. All right. You're accepting the challenge? Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not accepting it. Yes, I agree with the line judge. I can't really hear what they're discussing. I think it's to do with the uh, the challenge, because of course, well, I don't think she's realised the challenge is made because maybe it's on her monitor what the result is, and she hasn't. Oh yeah. She hasn't seen it, but we know the challenge has been made, and we know what the decision is. But unfortunately, that hasn't got through to the umpire here because her monitor isn't working. So she's got her hand up. challenge was good as in the call was good sorry the challenge wasn't good the call was good so the point goes to Sadawak but uh, I'm not sure if that's clear as far as uh, the officials are concerned or they okay. then Dan I think just He's said okay. let's just get on with it all right thank you very much I mean it's not a, a match in which uh, I think the decision Eight. would matter one way or another really That's just long, is it? Yeah. Ten, eighteen. I'm sure you got have the score on there 18 10 it is make that 19 uh, 10. that is over 19 10. service over 11 19. been a strange kind of game given the scoring problems and the various things and yeah the one-sided nature of it all and For the man who 20, won this title in 2006, points, 2007, 2008, 2011, and 2013. And there is Again. his first step towards a possible title in 2015. Lin Dan Thank you. with a very comfortable win of 21-8, 21-11 against uh, Sarawak Pognera. 21-8, Job done.
So the players uh, make their way off court. They've got a women's singles match coming up next, but uh, Lindan can uh, take a few hours off at least. Wait to see who his uh, opponent will be for round two. Will it be uh, David Ebenezer or Daniel Paiola? So you have to say, uh, two very straightforward uh, men's singles matches so far. What do we get from uh, the women's singles here on day two? Maria Febe, Kusu Mastuti up against Pai Yupo. And, well, really, this one should be uh, a lot tighter. Yeah, I expect a really good match between these two players. Uh, the last seed, last of the seeded players, Maria Febe, against uh, the upcoming Ayupo. Ayupo in action yesterday, so a little bit of an advantage in uh, terms of knowing the arena. And that's handy for Maria Faber, is that uh, all the attention's on her in some respect, because the uh, mixed doubles pair are telling about earlier, they just won their match. Study, it's fair to say uh, no real sign of uh, a women's singles player at the moment making a real mark from Indonesia. She, uh, I suppose, is the number one hope. She is seeded after all. But uh, we'll call her a big hope, Steen Widget. Now she and uh, Linda Wenifanetri, perhaps the two best um, Indonesian women's singles players at the moment. But, um, to spring a surprise to uh, get a medal in this tournament but uh, I wouldn't really rule that out playing with the support of her home fans
always inspires the Indonesian players to great efforts here in uh, Historos and Iron. Well, as you see, seed is 16, ranked 21 in the world. Got a buy in round one. See, so far this year, well, uh, it's okay. Quarterfinalist at the uh, Singapore Open. Been around a while, hasn't she? There's uh, Mary Fever, 25 now. Uh, Pai Yu Po, the year younger, beat uh, Nezlahan Yagid of Turkey in round one. As you can see, uh, lost more than she's won so far this year. Quarterfinalist at the Canadian Open, her best result of the season, last 16 in the US Open. Lost in the first round here at the Indonesia Open in June. These two have never met before. And uh, Kusu Mastudi will be the favorite, no doubt. Hasn't really fulfilled her potential. Highest ranking came back in 2010 when she reached number 18 in the world. Malaysia's Crystal Tan is our umpire. Getting the players ready for play, and our service judge is Paul Buffum. Yeah, it was a fairly straightforward win yesterday for uh, Bayou Po, 21-11, 21-14. Maria Phoebe... Uh, Played in the World Championships last in 2010. That's when she was in the top 20 of the world. She lost in the second round that year. First World Championship appearance for Pai Yu Po. System is that up and running without a problem, without a hitch after the last match. Thought about leaving it. It was going in. One. would prefer the players to just leave it instead of trying this late minute save because now she doesn't really know whether it was in or out she lost the point anyway that is exactly on the line she left Two, it this time one. yeah White uh, pie.
Actually, right behind uh, Kusu Mistuti. One have dressed up for the occasion. One or two, I should say. That's wrong, I think. And she's keeping the shuttle. Five one. Pai, she can't understand. Challenge. Pai challenges. Call eight. And this challenge actually came quite a bit late, but that was because Pai didn't look at the line judge. She was just so sure that it was out. But I mean, yeah. There's a, a need for an instant challenge, isn't there, really? But uh, I think it was the right decision by the umpire because it was only when she was about to serve, Pai was uh, aware that it was not her point, but it is now. Correct challenge from uh, the Taiwanese player. Correction up. Service over, two, four, play. <laughs> 